Okay, as a warning to everybody, I am wearing my pumpkin shirt again. So don't be too scared. Or if you are scared, maybe just cover the screen for the duration of the video. Alright, I've warned you. I'm coming into the shot now. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody. I do have another video idea for the next Halloween video for this week. Um, hopefully I can pack in a bit of Halloween content this week. Am I whispering? Okay, I'm sorry. Regardless. Um, today is the day to talk about one of my favorite horrible movies. <laughs> and this movie is from the 1980s. And it's called Teen Witch. Now, Teen Witch is not necessarily a Halloween movie, but it's about witches, specifically one teen witch. And it takes place during the fall at a high school. And uh, they go to like a fall dance. So it does take place during the fall, and it's about a Halloween monster. So I think that it's a good time to mention it. Um, this video is mostly to get you to go watch Teen Witch. <laughs> so, I do not know everything about the history of this movie. I'm sure there's a Wikipedia page about that. <laughs> but, this movie had a way bigger budget than you could have guessed. It was like a big major movie budget. And it's like, it's, how do I describe this movie? It seems like a fake movie. They had, like, original songs, even though it's not a musical. <laughs> they have a character who raps all the time. Like, he, he... It's not like in a modern movie where somebody is an aspiring rapper. Well, maybe that's what they were going for. I don't know. But they play it straight. So this kid, he's always rapping. And the main character's best friend has a crush on him. <laughs> and so, like, this kid, you see him, like, in multiple scenes, rapping in the hallway at school, rapping on the street, having a dance-off in the street. A dance slash rap battle. He, uh, a teacher makes a funny comment in class and he turns it into a rap. <laughs> um, but like the worst rap you've ever seen. This is not like a rapper. This is like some guy rapping. Just go look up, um, Beat That from Teen Witch. That's all you need to know about the movie, but I will tell you a little bit more. So the overarching plot of the movie is a very, like, traditional, like, Halloween coming-of-age movie. So this girl, she's, like, a loser. She dresses like the girl from The Breakfast Club. Uh, so you know she's a loser. The, the weird girl, not, not the pink girl. Um, and... <laughs> So she's like an 80s loser. She's got like bad hair for the 80s, which looks comparable to her good hair later in the movie. I'm sorry. Um, so she uh, has a crush on the popular quarterback or whatever. And so you see her in the shadows stalking him in the beginning of the movie. And her only friend, she's got one little friend who's like dorky. And then she's got a, the theater teacher and those are her only friends. <laughs> So, you know, like a traditional kid. Um, so then when she's 16, she gets an amulet from the theater department because she's doing like set decorations or costumes or something. Probably both. I think she's helping out making the costumes. And so then they had like a prop necklace that the theater director gives her and is like, well, you can have this. And then she's like, thank you, it's pretty. And then... She, like, wanders home, but she gets, like, lost in a park or something, and she tries to, somebody tries to drive her off the road on her bike and stuff, you know, like, 
typical like 80s being bullies and stuff um so she um doesn't have her bike anymore or something and it's dark outside so she stumbles upon like this fortune teller's house to like call for a ride home and uh the fortune teller tells her that she's a witch and she's like what and then the witch no the fortune teller i think she's also a witch but she like tells her like now you can cast love spells on people and make them fall in love with you like right off the bat as if like every teenage girl's biggest dream is to cast a love spell and seduce the one they love to be their i think she calls them their love slave and this fortune teller is saying it as if it's like just common knowledge that every teenage girl wants a love slave and then this man like walks in from the other room and that's the fortune teller's like person she seduced that just lives in her house now and so like you know this is the kind of magic we're talking about oh i forgot oh my gosh there's more of course there's more there's always more um she has this little brother <laughs> He is a weird, one of the weirdest characters I've ever seen in a movie. He is, like, pervy, but, like, talks like he's, like, a 50-year-old movie producer. Like, really, like, sleazy, slimy, but he's supposed to be, like, 12. <laughs> and, like, he, like, steals her diary at one point, is, like, reading it out loud, and it's, like... I don't know. I don't know why movies do stuff like that where they think that like reading weird super romantic diary entries is something that little kids do when it's like weird content. It's one thing to be like, I am in love with Jake and like making fun of your sibling or whatever for that. But like in the movies they do like like they describe doing stuff to their crush and the sibling views that as like comparable to saying that they have a crush on somebody i don't it's weird it's weird and it's like the the girl does not react to it like it's that weird she reacts to it like the the teen witch she reacts to it as if it's just like normal little brother stuff and then um somehow later Maybe this is a spoiler. This is a very whatever video. Um, she turns him into a dog. Think of that what you will. And then uh, um, he still has the same voice. He still like does like a weird old man voice. Like, it's not like a voice he's doing to make fun of her. It's like his voice. But it's like a... Anyway, so that's that. And then, um... Do yourself a favor and look up all the songs in the movie. All the songs are... Will make your life better. Um, there's a song called I Like Boys. Um, and it's... It's beautifully choreographed. Like, no doubt they spent a ton of money on choreographers and zero money on writers and zero money on focus groups. But the choreography, they hired, like, spectacular dancers. And, like, they... Maybe not the choreography, but the dancers are fantastic. Like, they're beautiful dancers. Um, not the people, but the dances. Um, but the... The choreography, actually, in the I Like Boys scene is so strange. <laughs> I would like you to look it up. They, like, climb on each other's shoulders and make these weird, like, creatures? <laughs> like kids in a trench coat style. But they're teenagers, so they're, like, these weird... Slenderman-esque figures dancing to a song about how you like boys now. <laughs> um, and if you want
watch that and you're like, that's not in there. It's in there for like five, ten seconds. And uh, the main character girl, she's looking on to these girls and she's like, man, I wish I was popular and cool like those girls. And they look ridiculous. <laughs> like she's on looking like so sorrowful. Like, oh, I wish I could dance in the locker room to songs about liking boys for the first time. <laughs> It's so ridiculous. Oh, jeez. Anyway, if that hasn't convinced you yet, here, just hear me out. Go listen to the songs, and if those songs don't make you laugh hysterically, you don't have to watch the movie. But if, if any of those songs make you like, what the heck is this, like it did for me, do yourself a favor, go watch this movie, you'll watch it like six or seven times. Um, <laughs> I think that's all. What, what an exciting video. I'm in a weird mood today. So, hence weird video. I feel terrible, so the candy's terrible. You're a genius. Okay, happy Halloween. See you later. Bye-bye.